So this next one is our next photo story tutorial. Um, we are going to open back up our photo story. So here it is right here. You can reopen your photo story up. It's going to load your editor again. Here we go. Let's add some stuff now. So I've done all my edits. They're in the order I want. Everything's great. I don't need to add any more pictures. However, I could at this point just go back to uh, import pictures. We're not going to do that. We're just going to hit next and we're going to add our text here. So oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, right here, it's already highlighted. You're just going to put it in. So this is Yzma and Kronk. That's what we did for Halloween. And we're just going to move it to the bottom. It was in the center. I don't like it. It covers up our faces. I could move it to the top. Maybe that'll look better at the top. There's less I have to fight with. Uh, we're going to keep it in the center because I kind of like it being over their heads. Let's make it bigger. Let's see if we can move this so I can see what it does. Maybe it won't even show me. Anyway, so I can make it bigger. You can type in a number if you want it to be like a hundred and they don't give you that. Whoa, that is way too big though. So let's go back and we'll just try 48 for now. And I want to bold it. It just, it helps when you put writing on pictures, having it bold makes it just thicker. The letters stand out more. Um, and then you can go through make sure to highlight your font and then you can hit your arrow buttons to just scroll through and then it gives you a little preview right over here of what it is so you can see what you're doing. I like this one. Um, you know, I really like that it can show my preview. So I'm going to go back. I like that one. It seems a little Disney. And let's pick a color to kind of help it stand out. We'll see if that one looks good. I don't know that that one will look good, but let's hit OK and see. That color doesn't look bad. Um, it's just too big, so let's drop the font down to here. Yeah, I don't mind that color. It's a little difficult to read. Unfortunately, it's just going to be like that because your background is different. So I'm going to leave it. It's the best it'll be for right now. If you wanted to spend more time in finding it, I'm sure there are ways out there. But I like it, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, then I'm going to click the next picture I want to add stuff to. So this one automatically saves for you. I can go back. There it is. This one I definitely want to. This one is R and... Oh, let's make it big. R and R. Rest and relaxation. Mm, me on the houseboat. I love it. I'm going to move it to the top, and I'm going to put it in the center where there we kind of have some dead space. Again, I want to change the color. So I like green. It seems relaxing to me. And then I'm going to find a relaxing font. Oh, i got to highlight my font. And I actually already know the font I want. If this is highlighted, I can go ahead and type in the one I want. There it is, papyrus, right there. I'm going to make it bold, and we're going to make it big, because it's little. It can take up a lot of the screen. So that's good, and I like it. And we're going to just go to the next picture. I could name this one. We're just going to name it, since that's what I'm showing you guys. Snoopy. I know that doesn't look like Snoopy to anybody but me, but that's my little brother in the play. I'm going to keep this one black, and I know that this one's highlighted because my cursor is blinking. And I'm going to change it to Snap because it seems like a Snoopy one to me. Make it big. There it is. I like it. That one doesn't need anything. It's already got writing on it. This one is rock on. Let's change this guy. We're going to put him at crazy blue, giant bold, and let's do 
B A U. I think that's the one I want. I kind of like it. Let's put it up top. That one I just like. And then this one, it's me and my husband, and our nickname is Bonds of Steel. That's what they're going to call us and our family. Move its location around. This one definitely is going to be maroon. We're going to put old English because I like that one. Bold it and give it some. There we go, bonds of steel. I like it. Great. I've done all my editing. I'm going to save my project. Oh, and I wish I could do a save as because I want to keep them all. But we opened our old project. I called this one Photo Story Test Basics and Organizer. Well, it's not that anymore. It is now going to become um, Edit Organize uh, Text. That's just so I know what it is. You don't need to change yours because your, prop, your story is going to be the same thing. But for the tutorial's purpose, I'm going to change the name of it so that now I know where it is. So I'm going to save it. There it is. So I have my first edit right up here, my second edit right up here, and we're done. Um, you could go to next. There's your narration. There's your music. We're not going to do any of that. That will be in other ones. This looks good. We're not changing anything. We're going to save it. And it's done. Let's view our story. Yeah, there you go. It's got Yzma Kronk, R&R. &R. I might want to make that smaller. I can always go back and edit it. There's my Snoopy and Crash, which is a video game if nobody knows what that is. That's my husband rocking out. <laughs> Me sitting in a tree playing disc golf and Bonds of Steel. I love my story. I think it's perfect. I could go fix that one. You know, I've been taking notes on any that I wanted to change. I don't want to change any right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it, save my project, just because it's always important to save, and then exit. And that's all you have to do.